What's up guys, Beer here back in the Fantasy Bar. Six of my favorite plays for you for week four on FanDuel and DraftKings. We're gonna attack the mid-range here. A little throwback, a little happy hour here. Nobody over 6,500 on DraftKings. Nobody over 8K on FanDuel. Helping make life easy. Who are we loving this week? Belly up to the Fantasy Bar and find out. Welcome back, guys. Beers Daily Fantasy Six Pack. Of course, the Fantasy Bar is open for business and ready to rock here in week four. Talking Fandle and DraftKings, like I said, we're going to attack the mid range here. We're going to try to make life easy on you. Leave some salary up there for you to decide what studs you want to go after, but plenty of plays in that mid range for us to attack. Now, one thing I want to do is take a second here and say thank you to you guys and not just say it. We're going to show you our thanks here for just the loyal Fantasy Bar patrons only. We have a special offer for you. Go to rotogrinders.com slash beer, and you're going to get $10 off your first month of Rotogrinders Premium as a thank you for being a bar patron. Only place you're going to get that deal is right here by hanging out at the Fantasy Bar and watching the video. It's going to give you access to every single piece of content Roto Grinders has, including the new Gridiron IQ, which is amazing. A tool that's going to break down every single stat, make life very easy for you, making DFS lineups, but lineup HQ, lots of stuff in their articles, videos. So rotogrinders.com slash beer. Thank you to you guys for checking out and stopping by and supporting the Fantasy Bar. Now, we'll also have our contest giveaway, so stay tuned to the end of the video for that. So lots of giveaways here in the fantasy bar now let's get to some of the plays here in the fantasy bar let's start at the wide receiver position with terry mclaurin of the redskins so mclaurin looking like one of the better values we have out here in week four price went down on DraftKings after playing that monday night game down to 4500 even on fanduel at 6300 really love this spot for him this week against the giants this guy's been outstanding their wide receiver one there in washington averaging eight targets a week has scored in every single game that he's played so far in his career. And we look at this matchup against the Giants, plush. We saw Mike Evans go nuts last week. 31st in DVOA against the pass, also 31st in fantasy points allowed to the wide receiver position. So Terry McLaurin gives you that big play ability, 4,500, way too cheap here. We're talking a 49 point total. Looks like a shootout. Get McLaurin in those lineups, especially on DraftKings at only 4,500. All right, let's go to the running back position next. We're going to go with Marlon Mack of the Colts. So Mack, 7,300 on Fandle, 6,100 on DraftKings. Loving these mid-range prices for a guy averaging almost 22 touches per week so far to open the season. The Raiders, we saw it last week. Dalvin Cook pretty much doing whatever he wanted to do. I think we're going to see the same here out of Marlon Mack at home. The Raiders allowing the seventh most rushing yards to the running back position. We know Mack not as involved in the passing game, so if we can tack a team that struggle giving up those yards, that's what we want to do here. So I think Mack a good candidate for multiple touchdowns here as a seven-point home favorite, always a favorable spot for our running backs. I think the Colts take control of this game, and then they salt it away behind Marlon Mack. Great play this week against the Raiders on both sides. Get him in those lineups. All right, let's stay at the running back position. Another guy I love in the mid-range, Carry on Johnson of the Lions. So Johnson even a little bit cheaper than Marlon Mack. 6,500 on Fandle, 5,400 on DraftKings. These prices seem way too cheap for a guy that's getting more and more involved in this offense. Last week we saw him play 75% of the snaps against the Eagles. There was a lot of concern coming into the season. Would he get opportunities as a third down back? Would he get goal line opportunities? Well, he saw both last week and I was very encouraged by that passing game usage because the Chiefs come into town this game could go a lot of different ways. We know the Lions want to slow things down. They want to establish the run. That's great, but if the Chiefs come out and put 14 points on the board, we need our running back to be involved in the passing game, and I think you'll see that here with on Johnson. But his attempts on the ground should be profitable. The Chiefs giving up a league-high 6.2 yards per carry. If you don't like that stat, well, they haven't been very good in the fantasy points allowed either carry on johnson in a great spot no matter how this game goes if it goes in favor of detroit johnson should have a massive game even if the chiefs get ahead johnson should still be involved making him easily one of my favorite plays 
here in week four. All right, moving on to our fourth pick. We're going to go back to wide receiver with Mike Williams of the Chargers. So another great value here. 6,100 on Fando, 4,800 on DraftKings. We know they get the plush matchup with the Miami Dolphins. We also know Keenan Allen has been the guy gobbling up all the targets and the touchdowns as well, and that's Mike Williams' game. So I don't know that he's going to go another week without a touchdown. I'm going to call my shot here and say Mike Williams finds the end zone against Miami just due to variance. It's bound to happen, and maybe it isn't this week, but it's going to happen sooner or later. I'm banking on this week at this price in this matchup. The Dolphins, seven touchdowns already allowed just to wide receivers, and I'm expecting Keenan Allen to likely be the most popular wide receiver on this slate and the most highly owned wide receiver on this slate. So I'm not telling you you're doing it wrong by rostering Keenan Allen, but in tournaments, we're looking at that ownership. If I can get a discount on Mike Williams, I'm going to do that. Finds the end zone here, easily pays off that price. Love this spot against the Dolphins. All right, let's move on. Let's get you a tight end. We're going to go to Will Disley of the Seahawks. 5,400 on Fando, 3,600 on DraftKings. Tremendous value there, but very simple. Is Arizona on the schedule? Yes, they do not have a bye this week. Then you definitely want to fire up your tight end, and this week it's Will Disley. They've made every single tight end they have faced look like Rob Gronkowski. Remember, TJ Hawkinson hasn't done a whole lot outside of that big game. Greg Olson, the corpse of Greg Olson, comes out and has a big game against them. And, of course, Mark Andrews as well. Now it's Will Disley's turn, and the Cardinals have been so bad against this position, they have allowed nine more fantasy points per week than the second worst team against tight ends. And you don't see that level of splits amongst teams that are that bad, that good. It doesn't matter. A nine-point separation per week, allowing over 20 fantasy points per week to the position. Nick Vanette been shipped out to Pittsburgh. I know he's been splitting routes with Disley. Luke Wilson is there. We could see the same scenario here. I expect Disley's role to grow a little bit. And maybe he goes up to a 65-70% split. We could see even better numbers than what we've seen already of him. Three touchdowns over the last two weeks. I expect that trend to continue here. And I expect Arizona to continue sucking against the tight end position. Will Disley, a lock and load, easy play for me in tournaments, cash games on both sites here against the Cardinals. All right, it's time to take a look at my favorite play on the week. But before I do that, guys, I need a few things from you. First of all, I need you to subscribe to the channel. That makes life easy on you. You know when the videos are coming out, and we always want to make life easy here in the Fantasy Bar. Secondly, I need you to click that thumbs up button. If you're enjoying your time here in the Fantasy Bar, you like the video, a lot of bars out there, they have that tip jar up there. You put a dollar or two in there. I'm not asking for your money. A lot of guys out here asking you to PayPal them money. I don't need you to send me your money. I need you to click that thumbs up button, and that tells me you're enjoying the video. So I appreciate that. And contest time. That's right. We're going to run it back on the Beast of the Week contest. What I need you to do, get in the comment section of the video with your guess on fantasy points for my Beast of the Week on Fandle. Closest guess is going to win either a free week of Roto-Grinders Premium or a free Roto-Grinders t-shirt if you're already a premium subscriber. So... Let's get to it. Let's take a look at my favorite play. You know, Mass, the Beast of the Week. All right, Beast time. We have not given you a quarterback yet. We're going to roll with Russell Wilson of the Seahawks this week's Beast of the Week. So we mentioned the Cardinals, how bad they were against the tight end position. They're just as bad, if not worse, against the quarterback position. On average, they're allowing 306 passing yards and three touchdowns per week. If you look at the DraftKings average, they're giving up an average of 30.3 DraftKings points per week to quarterbacks. And yes, Lamar Jackson was one of those quarterbacks, but Kyle Allen, who we had last week, hopefully you got him in those lineups, and Matthew Stafford were the other quarterbacks. So not exactly world beaters here, but we know this team is gonna play at a very fast pace. That's gonna lead to more opportunity for Russell Wilson. So we get an up-tempo game. We get a guy that's throwing more than he has in the last few seasons more running as well it's been running a lot early on in the season that to me makes an easy call for the beast of the week if it comes anywhere near that 30 fantasy points that they are averaging we're talking about a 5x return on DraftKings. russell wilson should crush this week you compare him with disley i like tyler lockett you go back to dk metcalf chris carson a lot of ways you can go at seattle but i will be heavily exposed to this team love the seahawks against the cardinals but love Russell Wilson easily. My favorite play of week four in this week's Beast of the Week. 
All right, guys, that'll wrap up for week four here in the Fantasy Bar and Fanduel and DraftKings. We'll have a Yahoo video out as well if you're playing over there. Don't forget, rotogrinders.com slash beer, only available to you guys watching the video. Can't find that anywhere else. You're not going to find it on Twitter. Gets you $10 off Roto Grinders Premium. Go check it out. Ton of great tools in there. Gridiron IQ, going to be a game changer. So take advantage of that offer, guys, and I appreciate you stopping by. For rotogrinders.com, I am Bear Sansalo. Best of luck here in week four. We'll see you in the Yahoo video, and we'll see you back here for week five. Go crush it, guys. Good luck. We'll see you. Hey, thanks for checking out our videos. If you want more expert advice on DraftKings, FanDuel, or any other daily fantasy sports, make sure you check out the current videos playlist.